I'm telling you. <laughs> you need a camera to make a video. I got it all ready. So, hey, let's do candle making. Um, so, but a little disclaimer. If you're here to see professional candle making done, go somewhere else. Please leave. So, what I'm going to be doing is melting some wax, putting some sage in it, and um, making candles. I'm just, I'm laughing. I'm really laughing bad, you guys. Because, you know. So, let me move the camera and I'll show you what I'm going to be using. Yeah. good at tutorials okay <laughs> okay so you need wax I'm going to be using a double boiler system putting the wax in here and I'm going to be making two types of candles one are sage so we'll do those first let's just do them as we go some something to put your wax in your melted wax and some wicks and in my case, I did not buy ready-made wicks, so I have whip, wick clips. Some wick. Oh, and Sharpies. My uh, ex-husband taught me this. So here, let's put the clips on them first. You push this through. I don't think it matters which way, whichever way you can get it. Let's see which way. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm going to want them probably. So I'm going to say. Probably two inches more than what I need. Then I'm taking a needle nose, and I don't like to use my good ones, but I'm going to have to because I can't find my cheap ones, and squeezing them. That's will keep the. Well, it should. How long did I make that one? Do, do, do. I'm just going to make three more. Ah. So, that's three. And, like I said, some people believe in gluing them down. And if so, don't use anything like yes. You know, 6,000 or something. But you'll see how clever it is. Once they're all done, you can clip these, clip these in, and it will just hold them really straight. Down a little. See? And it will hold them perfectly straight. So, I am going to Cut up some wax because I don't want to try to melt chunks this big, so I'm going to hunk it up with a knife. And this is the only sage I have, so I'm going to be cutting the string off and cutting it up. So I'll get back to you. So I took about half of the sage and I've just, what would you say, coarsely chopped it up. And when I undid it, it fell into parts like this. So basically this is about oh, one and a half. And I think it should be enough for just these this size, three candles. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Like I said, we won't know until we try. So I'm going to be putting this into a bowl and then chopping up the wax. So one of the things I have learned over my 
wax making years when I used to do it. Because you see that should be more than enough. It's probably not. So I think I'm going to be doing four or five of these, even though I'm only doing three. Wax disappears. I don't know why. So again, I'm going to be taking my, um, see how well a knife, this, I, oh, by the way, if you, if you do, you know, crafts, you don't use a cutting board that you, I may be getting a hammer and just banging the crap out of it. Hold on. Look, my hands. Um, so this is about two. Uh, the hammer didn't work. Uh, so I've just been, you know, cutting it up like this. And again, this old bread knife. Don't use the stuff you cook with. So, I am going to be, oh, i got to show you the pot I got. Remember how I said I wanted a pot? Because Kindle can bubble over. So, let me show you the pot. I don't know where the pot is. What did I do with the pot? I could have swore I put it right there. Oh, I found it. So, if I wanted to, I could just put the wax in here. But I'm going to put this in water and double boil it and melt it. And then put the sage in. We'll see how it works. So, I have it in the pot on blast off. You could do this in the uh, uh, your microwave. You can do whatever you want. Um, you do need something, though, I forgot to tell you. Uh, you do need something to stir. I don't know if this is going to work. See, this is one of these things where it's like, uh, excuse me while I pull up my bra strap. Um, I'm wearing old clothes to make candles in. Um, you know, I just decide I want to make something and I just make it. You know, as many videos as there are on everything, I should maybe research it on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, normally, <laughs> I have a old aluminum percolator that was a stovetop one, and that is what I use to melt my wax in. And the reason why is it has a spout. But I took pliers and got creative and a hammer. I'm telling you, weapons of mass destruction, you can do anything. So... Basically, it's just wait and see. I'd like to maybe put another one in. I'm telling you, when you melt wax, it disappears. The amount you think you need is always greater than what you think. <laughs> Be back. So anyway, it took about 12 minutes, but I kept, I added some more. And, you know, please, this is on a glass um, trivet that I use. And um, uh, this is extremely hot. We don't play Fifty Shades of Grey here with hot wax. So I'm going to be stirring it just a bit. Again, disposable chopsticks. And it, you know, one of the things about the wax is it cools down fairly, fairly fast. So, but I'd like it cool, a little cooler. That's cool enough. So I'm going to be putting the sage in. Look, 
looks kind of weird. Let me put both my mitts on because I don't trust anything. I burn myself all the time because I think, oh, it's not that hot. See, it looks like just green, glumpy stuff in wax. So I'm going to keep this pretty much stir trying to stir it up as I pour it. I didn't think about it settling at the bottom. Hmm. See, problem number one. I think it's going to settle at the bottom. See, can I? Yeah, I pick it up with my hand. It cools down pretty fast. See, it's settling. Oh, what spoon can I use? Oh, first. See how fast it's cooling. See, I didn't think about any of this stuff. So, oh, dude. Okay, wreck the first one. Well, I didn't wreck it. It's to see how fast it cools. Ah, I can't work this fast. Oh, I'm so under pressure. Okay. Go to another one. Okay. Ouch. That part's hot. I mean, this truly just, this is what I go through when I try to make stuff and I don't know how to make it. So let's pour it in. And that is no way in that stage. Okay, the candle wick. To get it straight, you just simply pick it up, put it down a few times, pick it up, put it down, and it will straighten itself out. There, it's right in the middle of the container. Let's see. Can I get this out? Here, let's do another one. So, okay, step two. Uh, next time you make them, we'll put the wax in, put the sage in after, after the wax is in. Again, pick it up and then put it where you want it. Voila. This is not working out very good. It's all going to the bottom. So, let's see. Put it in as it's this word. Simple. Let's have a bunch of. Uh, I don't think I had enough to make three anyway. I might have. Let me see if I can get a wick in this real fast. Where's the wick thing? Just get another wick thing. Wick clip. See if I can save this one. Ah, oh, saved. Maybe. Let's take some more. Oh, this is really, sh and this is where the pen's going to come in handy. I want to try just to let this set for a minute and see if I can get the um, sage to set around more and just go to the bottom. So, let's see, grind it into a powder. Wait till it sets more. There, that's kind of working. Huh. This 
is how much I love you guys. I will embarrass myself. No, I'm not embarrassing myself. I'm just making a mess, literally. Okay. So, time to put on the Sharpies. Standing straight. Where's another sharpie? Keep on Saria clean when working. Or a pen. It's just that I was giving a bunch of these when I was sick in the hospital in case I wanted to draw. It's just that I really wasn't well enough to draw. But you need something. I mean, you could take that chopstick and wrap it around. <gasps> oh, this is the disaster candle. Okay, this one isn't going to work. it just stand up by itself. Oh, oh, I can do it. But look, that's not going to be very neat looking. Uh, 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 pen. I was given 12 sharpies. Because I do Sharpie art, in case I want it to. Oh, I'm scared to pull on this too much. Uh, Cause there's nothing anchoring it. Okay, there. Ah, ah. Kinda straight. Move over. Move over. Move over. Pull it up, pull it up. Okay. Well, you know, I think this is, what did I learn from this disaster? One, just to, since I want to use dry and not a tincture, Sage, uh, is just, I'm just going to sprinkle it on as I go. Um, and I should have bought, see my thing about buying the colors to dye the wax was I was going to have to end up buying like three. And I just felt that was a waste of money. Um, but we'll see how these work. Nothing's ever a total waste. Um, the next ones I'm going to make, the evil spirit, um, which I'm not going to do today because it's already six. <sighs> I had to get up early. Then when I got <laughs> I fell asleep. <sighs> so, so I think if I put sage in them per stage, pour it, and just, you know, keep the wax, um, do this closer to the stove where the, I can keep the wax hot. Um, just put it in, pour some more put it in, pour some more. I think would be the best way because I don't want, you know, I thought, well, you know, because I don't want everything at the bottom. Yeah, I think I'll do it that way. So things we learned. Um, one, um, coffee cans do work for melting wax really well um, and can be disposed of easily. Uh, I normally don't, yeah, 
Um, and that, yeah, this was, that's what we learned. Is this a disaster? Well, anyway, it worked. We'll see. Maybe. Kind of. If anything, I have three candles. I feel like I have wax on my face. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, my failure to make <laughs> sage candles. <laughs> I should have thought that it would all, you know, I should have thought, oh, this is all going to go to the bottom. Oh, and if you get wax on stuff, um, don't try washing it. I have a plastic, I should have showed you that. I have a, a putty, a plastic putty knife. You just sc scrape it off. And, you know, you can leave some on because the hot water will dissolve it. Get, you know, a thin layer of it. But I use putty knives. I have yellow plastic putty knives. <laughs> it was no problem. Um, and and uh, it, it makes a giant mess. Well, I love you guys. And I'll put this one in the, after I clean up everything or either today or tomorrow I will make the next one <laughs> which I won't have this problem because it is more of a powdery type it's four ingredients is that I mix together it's very red they'll be very pretty and they will be very pungent